Hey Danny, on your channel from Archive, oh, we're meeting for your new record. Yeah. Your record release to come on uh, August the 27th. Got an obvious question: Where will you take us? Oh, now. Um, depends where you want to go, really. Um, <laughs> this this album, it's. Um, I don't know, it's, it, it's got everything you could possibly want in, in an album, really. It's got all the emotion you could possibly ask for. And. And it's. it's but it's. It has, it's unexpected, you know what I mean? It, it does things you don't expect. It's just kind of, you know, and, and it, it's beautiful in the fact that, it's, that things change all the time. Um, and it's. I don't know. I mean, it hasn't got those long songs that people might crave every now and then, you know, like the long 15, 16 minute long numbers, but um, but we p purposely did that because we, you know, those ones you don't just, you know, you don't do just because you can do them, you know what I mean, you do them because they're needed. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's, it's, I think it's a very dynamic, emotional album, as all of our albums are, but this one has got... I know. I, as I would always say, I, I say it most of the time, it's the best yet, but then, you know, I'm bound to say that, aren't I? Because it's uh, my album. Okay. <laughs> Where did you guys work it? Like, record it or...? Well, we did a lot of it in my kitchen. Um, in your kitchen? In a, lot of it, a lot of it was recorded in my kitchen. Um, was it like a sun, sun special? No, place? not at all, no. No, it was just the kitchen. <laughs> it's just like... But um, I've got good monitors there, really good speakers and... and uh, and it's it's uh, it's just a nice space to, for people to work in Brighton, and people love. Darius loves it especially, and, and Polo loves coming down, and Dave loves coming down because you know it's by the sea. Lovely sort of space, and um, yeah, I don't know, people like it, and it, it's just got a nice vibe to it. And I'm I'm lucky lucky enough to get away with making a lot of noise in my place because my the, the people upstairs for me are, are okay they're, they're piano teachers and they make more noise than I do and they're, they're really badly okay. so like, all I hear is really bad piano being played upstairs I, and we recorded some of the vocals that are actually on the album um, we didn't even re-record they actually were still recorded from my from my kitchen so it starts there and then we, we then we moved on we, we worked in uh, different studios worked in, worked in rack studios um, in London to actually record the live musicians and then um, we mixed it in uh, DS uh, studios in, in Paris. Okay. So, yeah. Talking about vocals, uh, Holly Martin is like much more present on this one. Yes, Holly Martin. Yeah. Well, it's the first time she's been on the album. That's the first. It's the first time we worked with her. So, yeah, she's a she's a Holly's amazing. She's an amazing woman. She just because when it came down to we we, we weren't. You know, we weren't necessarily, well, I suppose we were sort of, we were always interested in working with other people. It's something the way, that's why we like to look at the band as a collective, because it should always be that way, you know. And um, I don't know, I think, I think with Holly, it was just, um, we met her through roundabout ways, uh, as you do meet people in the music industry, and um, straight away connected. And I just think she, she, I don't know, she sort of seemed to fit in. She's only young, she's 21 years old, and she's, you know, and, and she's an amazing, but she's an old character, an old personality in herself, and uh, and got a goody good head on her, and it's great. It was great to work with, with her, to be honest with you. And she settled in with everyone, you know, she settled in with the rest of the, with, with the band really sort of easily. She's like kind of one of the lads straight away, which is nice, you know. I want to talk about the track list because, like, there's a progression, a break with calm down, uh, and sort of a uh, real construction on this one, on, on all your albums, obviously. But it's not like the way people do music anymore. Uh, was it important to you to, to keep this spirit uh, re record? Yeah, I mean, I think I think when it comes down to, it, I think with archive, I think in general, um, we're not a single single band. You know, we don't make singles really you know it's not the way we do things it's like and and, uh, and our albums need to be he heard as albums and i think that's um that's what we always try and get across and i think with this one that was that was the kind of point it's like we didn't want any gaps in the album we just wanted it to be from start to finish apart from just the last song you just get that one gap just before the last tune uh, it's just because that's the way you should hear it you know it's just uh, 
We're not we're not a singles band, and, and um, it, or, ever, to me, whenever you take a song away from the album, it always feels a bit weird. It feels like it's it, it feels a little lonely. You need to put it back in with the rest of them, and you know that's that's why I, that's why I, I, I hear it anyway. So why did you choose violently for for the first single? When it comes down to it, I think it dawned on us that you know, as I said again before, we're not a singles band, and um, violently, uh, it's, it's violently and wiped out uh, as sort of a double A kind of thing as a single. And, um, and really, when it comes down to it, we're not like to get any radio play. We don't expect any radio play. Um, I mean, radio in general plays, you know, majority is pretty awful music, but we don't expect to really get any. So it's like, well, fuck it. We put out something that's really not going to get it a radio play, and um, but we want it to have an, an effect and an, an initial impact on people, you know, and, and, and not just not just you know throw things out there, sort of like oh you know build things up and sort of fuck that, have that, shove that out there with a new singer involved as well. So it's going to you know fans are straight away going to go what the fuck's going on. Um, But I like that. I like the fact that archives all, all always about that. It's always about just just doing fucking whatever and just trying things, you know. Because if, if otherwise, you just become sterile, and we don't want to do that. You know? um, and for the people who discovered this record through Violently, uh, what can they expect? No, and liked them, liked it. For the people who liked the song, what can they expect from the, the rest of the record? Well, they like violently. They're likely to, to fucking hell. The rest of it's easy. So, <laughs> in general, to a point, it's uh, it's if you like an you know like an emotional little ride and and um, it's an, it's it's a phenomenal album from start to finish. It really is. And imagine like some people get disappointed by this song. What can they expect for the other songs? Well, some the, the thing is the fans who the, the, there's people out there who I know would be disappointed from say violently or something because. All, as, as always, but the beauty of the fans already, which is what I like about them, and which is why, and what they like about us, is the fact I know that what they'll think straight away, they think, fuck me, I don't like this, where they gone with this, blah, 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 sort of, but they, they'll still be very excited about what's going to come with the album, because they know that it's not all going to be like that, it's always, it's everything that's going to be, you know, it always changes throughout an album, and um, they'll get a lot of what they want to hear, but, you know, just not necessarily a 16 minute long song something you know okay thank you nice one. Nice one. thank you nice one. So oh.